So there's really not an easy way to start this video. I mean, it's just a video, though. <laughs> We're talking about chili. I know, I said I wasn't going to do that. But we are. We are. We're talking about chili for a little bit. Because it's because it's been interesting, right? It's been interesting. You know, we, we've been watching this leprechaun for a while now. Um, this little scheming piece of shit that's just... Well, he's just a piece of shit. That's all there is to it. By the way, guys, everything I say in this video is just my opinion. I'm allowed to have these opinions. And let's go. But anyways, anyways, Chili got arrested. He fucked around and found out. Now, there's plenty of videos uh, all, all around the internet. Um, you guys can check those out. Uh, I think Isa, uh, Irish Demon, um, let's see who else. Uh, I think, I, I'm pretty sure Artie had it as well. There was a few others that I've seen. Uh, if, you know, if you have it out there, um, you know, I definitely appreciate you. Because it was awesome. It was awesome, right? So it was pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Especially hearing Chili talk about what happened compared to what actually happened. Remember that time when Chili said, It'll take more than one guy to put me in torture cuffs. It'll take five guys because I'll never, I'll never be put in torture cuffs. It took one guy. One guy. One small dude. One small dude. Put him in torture cuffs. Fucking handcuffs, Chili. They're not torture cuffs. Quit being fucking cringe for it. I, I, yeah, I digress. I digress. It was pretty funny watching the whole thing because Chili, you know, starts out, he's like thinking he's real big and bad and awesome and alpha male to this cop. He's like, oh man, I totally got you. I'm going to scream at you and I'm going to get in your face. And the cop was like, you know what? Fuck you. You're getting arrested. Chili probably didn't know what to do at that point. But he got arrested. He got arrested. He got the torture cops on. Didn't take five guys, but there was five cops that eventually came. But it only took one to put him into submission. Just one. Just one. Not five. So for all you people that think Chili's this tough guy that is going to beat all the cops up, Chili's already made it quite apparent that he's not up to the task. One, I mean, he ran away from Chad Gu. He's never coming back to fight Chad Gu. He's actually afraid of this area, and he's scared of Chad Gu. The only thing Chili can really do is yell and chill. <laughs> Where is he at? California, wherever the fuck he's at in California. Scream about how he's going to kick Chad Gu's ass, and nothing will ever happen because Chili's a pussy. Chili's a giant pussy. Uh, that's that's true. That's very much true. You look at him, he's five foot nothing. He's got... Uh, a foul mouth. He's never made it like on his own. He's probably never had an actual job. I don't want to go through the things I talk about every single time, but Chili is, he's just a spoiled bitch. Um, but anyways, it was really funny watching him get arrested for this whole thing. And like the internet just, you know, the internet does what it does. It, it you know, Chili has one side of the story. Like one of the things that Chili said was, one of these coppers. This is not Chicago 1934. It's not coppers, you fucking weirdo. I don't I don't get it. I don't I don't understand. Why why are you saying that? Nobody says it. This isn't prohibition. Uh this is 2023. So so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, Chili said a cop, one of the cops, like got down on his knees and uppercutted him right in the ball sack and hit his balls and uh, that didn't happen. None of that happened. Nothing happened. Nothing like that happened. The only thing Chili did is what he usually does when he's surrounded by a bunch of dudes is he tries to have sex with them. By one, he told one of the cops to suck his dick and the cop's like, no, and Chili got upset and cried. Uh, Chili pretty much whined to this cop the whole time in the back seat. Uh, begging to get released and unarrested and uh you know he stayed in his torture cuffs and he complained about the, how the cops squeezed his arms and torture cuffed his torture cuffs and broke his shoulder and i don't know i don't know it was a whole bunch of horse shit which is it's really comical by the way it's really comical really comical just to see the actions on screen i i, I like i said i i would put it on my channel but you know, I kind of feel the people that covered the best, they you guys already know what happened. 
Um, if you follow me, most likely you follow everybody else that has access to this stuff. Um, there's no point in me just showing you guys a rerun, but it, it was really funny. It really was. It really was funny. Um, it was funny today on, on Irish Demon Stream. I forget the guy's name. I don't even know. Uh, some dude that was saying that Irish is a piece of shit and Chili is such an amazing person. Don't give your money to Irish Demon. Give your money to Chili. See, I, I, I can guarantee you, I can tell you what this person looks like. I can probably tell you their background. Most of the people that follow Chili, most of them, are usually cons or frauds or uh, scamming people, poor people with uh, no good intelligence. Now, I'm not saying that all poor people are not intelligent because I, I'm not very rich. I wouldn't say, I'd say maybe middle class. At best. But Chili, basically, whenever he makes something, he attracts the lowest common denominator of people. Mainly meth heads that go to your house and steal your bicycle and sell it for meth. And gets upset whenever they get pulled over by the police or put in jail. Or, you know, some people just stealing money or just causing problems. That's who these auditors attract. They They basically attract... Just degenerates. Degenerates that don't believe in accountability. Um, basically. I mean, Chile is also, like, super liberal. He might say he's conservative, but he's not. He's not. Um, you know, you don't hear conservatives saying, defund the police, get rid of the police. That's something the left does. That's something, like, the far left does. So Chile saying he's, like, conservative and all this stuff, that's, that's not true, too. That's not true, either. You know, if you're a conservative, you're most likely going to say, hey, uh, cops are good. Cops are good. There should be order. Order is good. Uh, you know, there shouldn't be a time where we don't have cops. Uh, cops should be held accountable. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But this whole let's not have the law and uh, let there be anarchy is a stupid way to go. This isn't, this isn't socialism. This, that's not how it works. Um, you know, we got the Constitution, which Chile, you know, he's supposed to be an expert of the Constitution that only learned everything from YouTube just a year ago. So Chile's very smart. He's done, he's got 20 years experience that he done in one year. This, that's it. But it, it's funny. It's funny just to watch the dude get, like, he, he's been put in cuffs multiple times on film. And... You know, he talks a big game like, oh, they, they can't do that to me. They, they can't. You know who I am? I'll sue you. That's like the cringiest thing you could do is just sue people because you got your feelings hurt on the Internet. And now that your scam is up and, you know, you're buying your subscribers, to, you know, it, it makes sense. You're only getting a thousand some new subscribers every week for some odd reason. But you're, uh, none of your reactions are showing this. We know you're buying your shit, dude. We know it. Just, just shut up. Just shut up. You're not really growing. You're really not. Most of the people will watch you. If you get on most of his videos, well, here, here's basically how it goes. You hop on a video, a short uh, or a community post. 95% of the people who are watch, watching or you know commenting are hating on Chile. Most of them. Most of them. Then you have comments that are very generic. Very generic. When I mean generic, most of them's like, good job, Chili. You're doing a great job. You're doing so awesome. Not saying what he's awesome at. It's basically bots, in my opinion. This is, this is true. You can hop on and look at the reactions, interactions with each one of his posts. None of that is true growth at all. That's all. That's all. It's, it's fake. It's all fake, just like Chili. Uh, Chili is a fake auditor. He's not a real auditor. He's just a cartoon version of an auditor. Uh, somebody that thinks he's bigger than he is. Now, Chili, Chili says he'll fight people. He says he'll wrestle cops. Um, and he's had his chance. We've seen this. Chili ran away, uh, complained about his knee hurting and having high blood pressure. Now, he chased the cop in L.A. <laughs> knowing the cop couldn't do anything. So he was just chasing the cop saying, let's go to the UFC gym. The cop wasn't going to do anything anyway. He couldn't. He probably likes his job. He probably wants to make money to 
supply his kids and his wife and pay for his house and his car. Like he wants to have make a living doing something he loves. And you have people like you that, again, attract the lowest common denominator. You give them some type of hope. And these people give you the money and you say, hey, I'm going to help this person. Usually it's another shady person. Um, give or take, what, what's, the, what's the new one? What's the new guy? Uh, auditing America or something like that. The one that's constantly e-begging every chance he gets. Like, I, I didn't even know who this guy was. Chili, you know, he did a uh, live stream where he was trying to get the guy, like, to give him his information so he can do a, um, <laughs> what was it? What was it? A fundraiser to get him out of jail. The guy was going to jail. This piece of shit. These people were pieces of shit. They're using their kid for sympathy, but he's getting on there asking and begging for money. Same thing Chili does. A lot of these big time auditors, a lot of them, most of them are like that. It's like, give me money so I can do this, so I don't have to get a job. Now, there's nothing wrong making a living doing something that you love, but, you know, at the end of the day, the auditing scene's eventually going to go away. It's, it's just a fad right now. And I hate to say that because I have friends that are auditors. Um, you know, I know, I think eventually they know that, hey, the gig's going to be up. People's not going to watch it anymore. So what happens then? What happens then? Where do they go now? Who do they harass next? Uh, Chili's case, he'll go back to trying to be a Power Ranger or uh, something. Chili, Chili knows how to make money. Chili does. He does. I give him credit that. He does know how to swindle people. He's really good at it really good at it because he doesn't swindle just people he swindles stupid people really stupid people uh, most of the people that watch him and give him praise are again just pieces of shit that no don't know better and i hate to say that i hate to generalize that but it's true it's true in my opinion but but again it's just my opinion don't want to get sued don't want to get sued do we um but I don't understand. I don't understand what what what's what is all these people like defending him? I don't get it. I don't get it. Even after seeing him get arrested, or how many times have you watched him having interactions with the police where he puts his camera down and basically sucks the cops dicks the whole time by talking to him, acting all innocent and sweet. Only when he puts the camera on his face is when he acts like a bad some kind of badass. Now that's not alpha behavior. He's not fucking Andrew Tate. He's not. He's not. He's none of those. He's not an alpha. Guys, if you think he's an alpha, do you need to go open up a science book or something? Go go back to elementary school where you can learn about that stuff. Like, th he's not an alpha male. He's a fucking midget. He's a fucking midget with a bad attitude, but doesn't believe in accountability, but doesn't believe in doing an honest day's work like most of us do. You know, I, I have a job. I work my ass off for what I got. You don't see me asking for money every five seconds. I, I don't. I don't. I you know I do what I need to do. I'm not living on other people's couches anymore. It's just not the thing. I, I turned this into a tirade because I haven't talked about Chile in a while, and here I am just letting it all out. It's it's the same stuff I've been over from before. It's just interesting to watch. These people get arrested, then they cry and bitch, and then when they get out, they go back to the same thing, pretending like they're Macho Man Randy Savage that just took an eight ball. You know, it's just, it is what it is. It's stupid. It's really stupid. Really stupid. And, you know, even, let's say, and I've offered this, I've offered, I've met Chili. You guys don't, may not remember, most of you probably do. I met Chili in person. I met him. I confronted Chili in person. The only thing Chili did, Chili, he didn't threaten me with physical violence. He threatened to have sex with me, hold me down and rape me. Because Chili is a gay butt raping bitch, basically. I, I hate to say it, that's his thing. He's all obsessed with cops ding-dongs and um, ball sacks, but it's just the way it is. He's just a gay butt raping bitch. That's all, all he is. So all, all he is. We have proof of that, in my opinion. It's just, it's true, though. It's true. It's true. It's not me being making fun of the gays or anything. It's just me spotting, hey, if a gay person saw the way Chili acts and saw his behaviors of 
you know, telling men that they're going to hold him down and rape him, then I'm pretty sure that gay person would be like, yeah, he's he's definitely a homosexual. That's basically it. That's 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 the gist of it. That's just it. That's it. He's a tiny homosexual. That just it's just sad. I'm sorry. I I I I've talked way too long about stuff. I've went off subject. I just I want, when I start talking about this, dude. Like when I see, like I don't want to see people get swindled. You know, I don't. I don't want people to take advantage of people that, you know, are looking for some shred of hope that some people can't offer. Chili can't offer hope. He can't. The only thing he can offer is his word, which isn't much. And you people keep falling for it. You keep following, keep falling for it. And, you know, most people spot it out, and these people still do it. Uh, they're all thirsty for this guy. Um, you know, I'm not going to say Chili. Chili's a decent looking dude. He's not a bad looking dude uh, for a fucking midget. Like, I guess I, you know, he's he's probably average for a midget. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm a thick boy. I'm a thick boy. I could probably beat the shit out of Chili pretty easily. It'd be pretty easy to do that. Cause the only thing Chili's going to do is stand there in California and be like, I can beat his fat ass. Oh, oh, oh. He'd never come back. He'd never come back. He won't. He won't. Let's just let's just put it this way. He will never come back. He's never coming back to fight Chad. Uh, it's just a facade, guys. It's just a facade. You guys need to get over it. Like, just stop supporting him. I mean, I know there's going to be some people that love Chili that are watching this, and they're probably thinking, well, what do you do for a living? I actually do a lot for a living. I have a lot to live for. I have a lot of things I like to talk about. Things that actually, actually matter. You know, it's not like me getting on here and wishing people to have cancer. You know, I... Cancer's terrible. Can cancer's terrible. Mental health problems. Terrible. Terrible things. Terrible things. I wish I could do more about these things, but I can't. I can't, but at least I'm trying. At least I'm trying. I'm not trying to harass people just to get a paycheck. So it's just not happen. I, you know, I, I barely get maybe fifty or sixty people watching my videos anymore. Like that's just the way it is. Uh, the stuff I talk about is really not as interesting as uh, the drama because a lot of people like the drama, and it's not. It's not not your fault. I mean, you like what you like. Some people don't want to hear about sad things. Like they want to rewind. They don't want to get uh, get home from work and listen to a a fat neck beard talk about mental health and all that other stuff. Maybe that's just me, though. I don't know. Hey, guys, I love you very much. Uh, sorry for ranting. I just rant from time to time. And I figured, you know, let's let's go in hard. Let's go in hard. Uh, be sure to give everybody that, uh, you know, has been still, you know, working on the chili stuff, uh, who provided the arrest videos, give those guys some... Give those guys some good vibes, some follows, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, but don't worry about me, by the way. Don't worry about me. I'm still having fun. I'm still here. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.